has been many transformations in the global gas market. Uh, I've been talking about a new gas order and I'm not the only one uh, because mostly of um, various transformations. One is the supply abundance and uh, the feeling uh, from the buyers and the supplier that the market is very well supplied. It may be not be reflected in pricing currently, uh, but there is a lot of supply underground, potentially monetized also to the market um, faster than it used to be. Uh, second is the different usage of gas and, uh, and the diversity of players in the market. Um, third, it's um, the, um, the technology uh, that is breaking barriers for entry. And, uh, and that is helping also those new importers to get into the market. Um, and we see also transformation um, on, the, on the financing side uh, and how to help new buyers to get into the market. Um, so, I mean, and and that's related to the contracting and the pricing side where we see a, a big evolution um, in terms of growing flexibility on, on how to price LNG and contract LNG. Asia is a good example of where we see a growing usage of gas and LNG in CT distribution. Um, for example, um, India is uh, moving away from the use of LPG in the households to use gas. Um, Pakistan is, uh, has already a big network of CNG, gas natural um, for transportation for vehicles, but is also uh, growing this segment. Um, we see also, I mean, China is a key example, usually, where you see um, the power plants in the cities being converted to use gas. And, um, and also the, you know, the growth of, uh, of gas for, for mostly households and, uh, um, and, transport, and uh, you know, transportation, but it includes uh, public transportation and, uh, and heavy duty trucks.